Hello everyone, welcome to the Buell Public Library Catalog. Today I'm going to show you how to get the most out of this tool as a library patron. So let's dive right in. The best way to use this tool is if you go ahead and log in first. That way you can use all the features available. It's just going to be your library card number to log in and your phone number is going to be your password. So it should be fairly easy to remember. Here we have the main web page. Here's a little scroll, um, a visual browser of what is brand new at the library, so you can always see that first. Over here we have what's popular, what's new. Anytime you're looking in the catalog, anything in green is going to be available and ready to check out. Anything in red is checked out by somebody else, but you can still reserve it and pick it up later once it's been returned. Let's go ahead and look at what's new in the library. We're going to see what in the DVDs has been added in the last two months. Here we have 11 items. Again, everything in green is available. Everything in red is not available right now, but you can still put it on reserve to check it out later. Here you have the collection that it's a part of. So these are all junior DVDs. And then you have the title and the date that it was released, not the date that it was added to the library. Let's go back to the front page here. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about some other key features on our main page before we dive into the actual searching. First of all, there is the visit us tab, a contact information, a kid friendly catalog that's going to have everything designed specifically for children, no R rated content, nothing that's going to be um, above their reading levels. And then you also have our location information. Right here, we also have some electronic resources that are integrated into our catalog, and they are items from Overdrive that were purchased by the Idaho Digital Consortium. So that is a group that we are a part of. It's a bunch of libraries that have gotten together in order to pay for a large collection of materials that many different libraries can share so that all of our patrons have access to a lot more content. The Project Gutenberg is mostly ebooks that are within the open access um, Creative Commons license field. So they're fully available here. The LibriVox is the audio version of all of those items. And then Genie is a tool that you have access to freely for your genealogy research. Let's go ahead and dive into a search. We're going to go ahead and look at a mystery title. We're going to do a super vague search, but if you want, you can also always search with these limiters as well. We're going to go ahead and load our resu results here. Because it's a very vague search, we're going to have a lot of items and it's going to take a little bit longer to load. Now we just have to get through that main last push there. And here you can see we have mysteries in the form of CD books, audiobooks. We have digital content. We also have mysteries in several different collections. There's nonfiction. We have our inspirational collection, our mysteries, and our juniors as well. So as you're looking through this, again, everything in green is available. Everything that's in red is not available at the moment, but you can put it on reserve. Here you have the collection that it's a part of, the title, as well as the author information and the date it was released. On the side here, you have a little bit of advanced search tools. So you can see what is available. And you can also see, let's see, DVDs that have mysteries or things that are in the junior section as well. And there's just three items that limits your search to help you find exactly what you're looking for. Once you go into an item, let's go back to our general mystery search. Again, it's just gonna take a little bit of time to load. And then I will show you some new features that we have added to the catalog this year. Well, 
Well, let's click into this item. And then you can see how to reserve it, how to add it to your wish list. That's what this bookmark feature is right here. If you go down to the bottom in the location, you can find the call number. And this is how you'll find it in the library if you like to do that on your own. You can also see items that you might like by other authors from other series and just general suggestions for what to read next. Now let's take a look at a more specific series in order to show you the last feature we're going to talk about. So once you click into this book, you can click into series information, and this is going to show you all of the books that are in that series. Anything that's grayed out is a book that the library doesn't currently have. However, you can always let us know if you're interested in reading it, and we'll probably purchase it for you. Um, if we're not able to purchase it for you, we'll interlibrary loan it. That's where we borrow books from another library for you to check out, and then we just return them to the other library when you're done. That helps um, all libraries save costs on books since uh, funding is always a little tight. So let's go back to our main page. And if you ever have um, issues with the catalog, you can always click on this help button or go ahead and contact us through this link right here. And that should give you our phone number. You can text us. You can always come in and visit us and we can walk through it together. I hope this was helpful for you and you have a great day.